The following is an Outdoor Channel original production. This episode of Sasquatch Mountain Man is presented by Shell Rotella, the engine oil that works as hard as you. Born of the mountains. Blood of the Indian. He lives by the way he hunts. He rekindles the fires of the past and roams in buckskin. He survives by hawking and longbow. He's forged by the elements. Journey with the last of a breed, Sasquatch, Mountain Man. Texas is the whole world in one state. West of the Pecos could be the desert bluffs of North Africa. This is probably one of my favorite hunts here in Texas, and I'm hunting free-range Barbary sheep, or Audat. <laughs> this country is some of the most relentless country I've ever hunted. It's nasty, your footing is horrible, it's shell, rock everywhere, but it's fun. You know, this country has its own beauty. The good Lord knew what he was doing when he made this world. <laughs> Someone once said that the desert is like God without people, and few escape the spell of its savage grandeur. Yeah, I know that doesn't quite look like Texas, but it is. You look across and you just see plateaus sticking up, and yeah, sure, there's no trees, but it still is beautiful. Amazing. You know, just like any of your sheep species, these Barbary sheep, they love the mountains and the cliffs and the country that's not fun to walk in. So here we are. <laughs> I have to go uh, be uncomfortable for a little while climbing up and down these mountains, but it'll all be worth it. A critter somewhere between a sheep and a goat the Owdad's been in Texas for generations. The population growing 1,800% in 50 years. Even for a 300-pound ram, uh, scaling the rim rocks, it's like a walk in the park. Well, I've been seeing some sheep right up against the bluffs right off this rim. So I'm just going to keep sneaking up to this rim and glassing off and see if I can't find them. being sure-footed. The Owdad has eyesight that's nothing less than phenomenal. But even if it sees you, it don't mean it knows what you are. It just went over the edge a little bit, so we gotta cover some country. This calls for speed and silence. Two things that don't go easily together. This looks well within 50 caliber range. That was a stock. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Trying to walk everything sounds like potato chips. I think I hit him good. I couldn't tell. I, all amped up is about 80 yards I shot him. I thought I saw him go down right up there, but I'm gonna have to go take a look, look for blood. Let's go see if I actually hit it. Well, I don't know if or exactly where I hit that sheep. 
I think I hit him. I thought I saw him go down right up here, but it could have just been him dropping off the backside. So I'm gonna go check it out and see. If there's one thing about a hawking, if something gets hit by a shot from one, well, there's gonna be a bright blood trail to follow. And usually not too far. I'm not finding any blood, so I might not have hit him, but. As Laramie cuts for sign along the rim rock, he's got a sinking sensation that's growing. He don't count on his long rifle to miss, but maybe this is the exception. I don't think I need to do my leg workout today. Okay, here they come. Sign up for the Bass Pro Shops Outdoor Channel, Mountain Man Sweepstakes. Log on to BassPro.com forward slash Mountain Man Sweeps and enter to win a $5,000 shopping spree. Fill up your possibles bag with all the essential hunting gear. Sign up, Bass Pro Shops Mountain Man Sweepstakes. That's BassPro.com forward slash Mountain Man Sweeps. Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Texas Rim Rock makes a natural home for Barbary sheep. This cliff jumper's a hidden gem that's proven more than enough of a challenge for Laramie Miller. <laughs> it's hot, dry country, full of jagged edges and sharp points. And you're hunting a critter with eyesight even better than your own. No wonder they call a herd of Audad an anger for what they do to hunters. So I spotted five Audad rams from way down at the bottom. I forked my wake about. I'm pretty sure they're right on the backside of this little rim, but I'm gonna have to go fast because they were moving this way, so it's now or never. I've been a lot of places, but this is probably the worst stuff to walk in there is. You look at the type of country we're hunting, this is all free range. They can go wherever they please, and it's rough country. The footing is absolutely a hole. <laughs> An anger of our dad rams. For them, a pile of broken rocks is like a feather bed. Got five rams down here below us. One just stood up. I've been sitting here for about 30 minutes. The biggest ram is on the far left. That's the one I want to try to take about 130 yards, which is a poke for the muzzleloader. to put that last shot completely out of his mind. <sighs> this time, there's no question. Missed him clean. <sighs> it was a hang fire. 
Laramie has the pleasure of watching the agile grace and ease with which the Owdad scamper over the rocks as they escape from another missed shot. Well, at least Laramie don't have the added burden of a hefty sheep to pack on his back up the desert cliffs. I don't think I need to do my leg workout today. Okay, here they come. Brought to you by the Ego Power Plus Lawnmower. Ego, power beyond belief. Brought to you by Shell Rotella, the engine oil that works as hard as you. In the desert of West Texas, Laramie Miller's facing the trials and tribulations that come with hunting the Barbary sheep. Two uncommon misses with his normally dead-on hawking rifle have got the mountain man vexed. There's a bunch of sheep way over there. There's at least eight or nine sheep. I'm guessing it's probably a bachelor group because I don't see any kids. So that's a good thing. That means they're rams. But I tell you what, this audad hunting ain't for the faint of heart. <laughs> Some rough country. You wouldn't think of Texas and hard walking, but how to get to them? I'm gonna have to go up and just circle around, try to get on the same level as them. is only an adventure wrongly considered. Dang it. It's too dark to stalk any more our dad for today. So Laramie makes his way back to camp to contemplate what his next move's gonna be come daylight. You know, I'm sitting here pondering today trying to figure out why I missed at 70 yards. I haven't missed under 100 yards with this gun yet. But twice? In a matter of two hours? There's gotta be something wrong. So I went and shot it. <laughs> it is way off. What happened, I don't know. I don't know if the barrel's warped. I don't know if the sights got screwed up somehow. But ethically, I can't hunt with this anymore as much as I want to. But I'm gonna pick up my 30-30 and it's open sights. It don't shoot no farther than this gun. It is lighter to carry, so that's kind of a plus, I guess, but I'm gonna go give her heck. They say only accurate rifles are interesting. So until Laramie can straighten out the Hawken, he'll turn to Mr. Winchester. Stay, hey, stay right behind me. I got this tree in the way. Whatever cover nature gives you in our dad country, you use it. One thing about a 30-30, there's no rifle more Texas than that though it don't make long-range sheep hunting any easier. There's a bachelor group of seven rams right over here. They're in a pretty good spot, but I'm gonna have to circle all the way around so they don't see me. 
getting in the 30-30 range is going to take some long, slow, expert stalking. Even then, there's still the chance of a sharp-eyed owdad spotting you. Though sometimes, the luck just goes your way. The sheep are coming right along that edge. <laughs> they might come right here below me and give me a 100-yard shot. They're coming. I'm going to get down to this rock. Now, instead of having to travel all the way around the rim rock, Laramie only has to wait for these rams to come to him. I don't think I need to do my leg workout today. Okay, here they come. Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Texas Rim Rocks. Laramie Miller's hunt for an Aldad Ram has turned into a challenge match. He's being forced to rethink his tactics and choice of firearms. With a new gun, though, it seems Laramie's luck has finally turned around. They're just working their way right around this basin. They're going to come right below us. I'm just going to wait until they get right here and pick out the big ram. Take the shot. Now, it all comes down to one slow, steady pull of the trigger. Hit him. Good. He just went on a death run right there. <laughs> They came from all the way over right along the rim and walked right here below me 100 yards. I thought I was gonna have to circle all the way around and get above them. Well, they cut that distance a lot faster than I could. <laughs> oh, now just how to get down there. <laughs> and back out. The thing that's treacherous hiking for Laramie would be no more than a scamper for the owl dad making Laramie respect him even more. Awesome. He's dead right there. Oh. Look at that. Man, look at how cool that is. Wow. Let's get him out here where we can actually see him. Crazy, crazy. Look at how cool. The only thing I haven't quite figured out yet is how to get him out of here. <laughs> mm. 
There's one good thing about being Sasquatch. When all else fails, you can count on sheer strength to get the job done for you. I can't even think. All I know is I gotta get to the top. And it's not very far. But it's far enough. Well, I don't think I need to do my leg workout today. It's hot, I'm thirsty. But the sweet taste of success, nothing better. You know what, this hunt has been unbelievable. And the, I mean, you look at this country, the chances of getting 100 yards from sheep, as open and as rugged as it is and loud, that's a feat in itself. But then to do it and actually get one killed and on the ground, man, I'll remember this hunt for a while.